Hi everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. It's a bright new year and I hope you're all doing well, especially those that will be dealing with more difficult times at the moment. Now with the growing issues our planet is facing, I feel that as a member of the 3D printing community, it's our responsibility to look further into the impact that our shared passion is having on the environment and what we can do to improve 3D printing for the better. Now, it'll come as no surprise that 3D printing is responsible for a lot of plastic waste. A study in 2019 revealed that around 151,000 FDM printers were in use in the UK alone, and estimated that by the end of 2021, which is already a year ago, that number would have increased to 232,000. Now, that's great news for us, because more interest in the community and more money in research means that bigger and better technology is always going to be around the corner. However, the same study also revealed that the average FDM user in the UK goes through about 12 kilograms of filament per year, which means that 3D printing is responsible for the use of more than 3,000 tons of plastic every single year in the UK alone. The plastic pollution problem has been discussed a lot in media over the last few years, whether it be plastic straws stuck up turtles' noses or microplastics found at the deepest depths of the ocean, all the way to plastics found in the very food we eat, and it's only getting worse. However, I'm not here to tell you about plastic pollution, and I'm sure that's not why you've clicked on the 3D printing video. However, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be releasing a series of videos looking into the amazing innovations in 3D printing that are set to improve the relationship between 3D printing and the environment and what we can all do as makers to make sure that 3D printing is part of the solution and not part of the problem. If you've got any thoughts or ideas on any of these subjects, please make sure you pop them in the comments below. I'd love to see them and also any suggestions on other things you would like me to cover. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks very much.